All right. Good morning, everyone. Saturday or Saturday early afternoon here in Philadelphia. Uh, welcome to the next installment of the Philly Young Mudo Stay at Home Do It Yourself Workouts. Um, glad everyone who can join today. Take advantage of as many of these workouts as you can. But hey, you were just trying to have fun here and try to keep in shape and keep practicing some of our Young Mudo skills. So remember, the most important thing is to just stay with it. Keep yourself in self-quarantine, keep yourself healthy and happy, and just do the best you can. Uh, at the end of the day, we're all in this together and we're all gonna get through it. Um, so, I'm Robert Brown. Uh, I'm an uh, instructor here at Philly Young Wudo or Temple University of Hapkido. Uh, we're now one week in on doing our own stay-at-home workouts, these self-isolation quarantine workouts. This is number three. Uh, the first one, we worked on some throws footwork. Uh, the last one, second one, we worked on some shadow boxing. Today, what we're going to do is a couple of groundwork drills. Um, so as usual, the basic idea um, is we're going to start off with a warm-up, doing a couple of circuits. Uh, then we're going to do some technical training. We'll call it technical training. We're mostly just trying to get through some exercises. We're going to mix in some non-martial arts exercises just to kind of break it up a bit. And then we'll finish up with some stretching for about 10, 12 minutes or so, depending on how much time we have. The idea for this workout is to go about 45 to 60 minutes. Um, and this time, what I think you're gonna wanna have is a water bottle, as usual, um, perhaps a small towel. Um, I have some light or medium sized weights that we we'll use for a couple of drills. Um, but today's special guest is over there up against the wall. Um, I have this guy who is a throwing dummy who's got a Dolbach or P jacket on and a belt. Um, but since I assume most of you don't have that, what we're going to go instead with is this guy here. I've taken a pillow. Actually, he's a thin body pillow, folded him in half, stuffed him inside the, the gi or dolbok top, wrapped it with a belt. I also took my pants and kind of put it across, which is not very long. I might want to go with, let's say, a, uh, like a long beach towel and roll it up, um, or maybe a second gi top and put it inside and give the arms just a little bit more stiffness. But this is the buddy I got today. And so... That's the buddy I'm going to go with today. All right, so I'm going to put him off to the side for now. Um, all right, so we're going to get started in just a second here. Remember, the idea is just to do as much as you can, as well as you can. Don't worry too much about it. Try to listen to some of the details. But again, don't worry about it. So uh, we're going to now get started. We're about three or four minutes in, and we're going to try to go for about 45, 50 minutes from now. All right, okay, so uh, first off, just back up, uh, find your space around you, and we're gonna start off with jumping jacks, and I'll do the count outs today. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 8, 9, 50, 10 more, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next, we're gonna do a little circuit of crunches and push ups. Crunches do whatever kind you like, push ups do whatever kind you like. Make it as hard or easy as you want. So, I'm gonna start off simple crunches, legs are up, hands behind the head, nice easy crunch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and push up position. Ready, nice up. I'm gonna go slower rather than faster. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. And on, sorry, making sure. All right. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, host had another meeting in progress. Okay, hold on. Let's see what's going on. Want to make sure that we've got everything going well. Um, all right, well, we'll just have to move on. I hope everyone can join. All right, back to crunches. Leg lifts. This time, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and the push-ups. This time I'm gonna go narrow, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right. I'm gonna go now to the third set. I am warming up. It's cold in my basement because we had a cold night last night and the thermostat uh, died. So we're not freezing cold, don't worry. All right, crunches. One more set, your choice. This time what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do my legless, but I'm gonna do kind of side twists in there too. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, and push-ups. Last set, gonna go a little wide. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, okay. Um, incidentally, um, when I'm doing the leg lifts, I let the feet come apart make both legs work so that one's not reinforcing. And that way they're both, uh, I've got to work on core strength on both sides simultaneously. I feel like when I have the feet together and stuck together, it's easier. And this is making me work a little bit harder. So it looks messier, but I feel like I'm working harder. All right, next, we're going to squats and back arches, all right? Squats of your choice, if you want to grab your light weights or medium weights, go ahead and do that. We're gonna do an easy squat. And then when we get to back arches, um, my preferred mechanism is lying down, hands out in front, alternating, and I'll do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. Okay, so starting off with squats. Nice and easy, take whatever weights you want. Try to keep our weight over our feet, nice hinge hip, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Think about sitting. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now back arches. 10 each side. And starting on my right, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going to my left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to our squats with your weights. 
Think about sitting down, trying to keep back straight, hinge hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And to our back arches. Uh, ten each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Did I write down one more set? Yeah, we'll do one more set. Three sets. Magic threes. All right. Squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. I feel like I'm thinking about stuff and my numbers skip, so I apologize if I'm skipping. We'll just, you know, we're all trying to get along here. All right, back arches. One, last time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Next, we're going to do some easy stretch kicks. So, for those of you who do Young Mudo or other kicking martial arts, we're going to do a stretch kick. I want you to think more about the stretch than the kick. Okay? It's not about kicking form and whether this is an effective technique. It's about getting an easy stretch, working our way up to stuff. So, first one is going to be straight up and down. We're gonna start with our hands up, bringing the leg up as high as we can, stepping down forward, and then back, and that'll be one. From the side, what we're looking at here, leg comes up, the other leg, I'm rotating on the ball of my foot, so you can see it rotating as I come forward and back. All right, stretch kick straight up and down. We're gonna do 10 right, and then we're gonna switch and do 10 left. If you're switched, because whatever monitor, it doesn't matter. 10 left, 10 right, 10 right, 10 left. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're facing forward, nine, 10. All right, now I'm going to switch. I'm doing it with the left leg. If you were doing left leg first, then go to right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to go back to the right leg. This time we're going to do an out to in stretch kick. So it's going to come up the outside, down across. Slightly different stretch, slightly different work on the balance. Remember to rotate on this support leg, okay? Ready? One, two. Three, four, one more, five, switch, left leg, out to in, one, two, three, 
four, five, and back. This time we're going to do an in to out right leg. So we're going to come up the inside, open up, stepping down forward, stepping back. Remember to let this foot pivot. It's a lot harder to think about this one on the pivot. Just let it happen. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, left leg, one, two, three, four, five, good, all right, we're doing just on time, take a few seconds, grab a drink of water, you know, mop any light sweat from your brow. And while you're grabbing that water, pay attention as I start to explain what we're going to do next. We're moving to the technical portion. That was our brief warm up. So I'm going to grab my buddy and I'm going to lay him down. Hopefully he's all set. His head is towards you. Here are his two floppy arms. And the first one we're going to work on is a mount position, starting in a mount position. I'm sitting across him on his chest. Turn sideways. It'll look like this. I've got my heels tight, my knees tight. My weight is centered over him, nice and easy. I've got some good posture here. I could come forward. I could stay up, but I'm starting to maintain a good balance, okay? So rotating to the side a little bit. Make sure you've got enough space behind you. It doesn't matter which side you do first, um, but I'm gonna be going to the sides on this one. So I want the room here, not front and back, okay? So we're gonna do a mount transition into an arm bar, okay? So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna grab this cross arm. I'm gonna come up on the right leg, all right? Opening up, hook around the elbow for a little bit extra control. Now I'm gonna sit down on them and this right leg is gonna come over their head. And I'm gonna sit back down, open up into the arm bar, okay? Then from here, I'm gonna sit back up, bring myself back up. You notice that I'm using my stand up to base position here, pull the leg back and I'm ready to go to either side. We're gonna stay on one side for right now and then we'll do the second set or on the other side. So we're gonna do five left, five right. As a reminder, grab cross arm, get control over, come up, hook in around that elbow, swing the leg over, sit back, work the arm bar, come up to base. That's one quick one. All right, let me slide over a little bit more center, get my water bottle out of the way, and who is ready? Five left, five right. Ready, go. One, up, swing over, back, arm bar, stand up to base. Two, cross arm, hook the elbow, come up to knee, swing the leg over, arm bar, come up to base. That's two. Arm, control, hook the elbow, knee up, leg over. Three, arm bar, stand up, base, three. Control, elbow, knee. Four, control, elbow, knee. Five, good, that's five that side. Now let's go to the other side. Cross arm, which means left side is gaining control, pulling up. I'm gonna turn, left knee is gonna come up, control the hook in and out the elbow for some extra control. Swing the leg over, sit down. Right hand comes down, come up to base. All right, ready. One. That was one. Two, start. That was two. Start three. Three, four. Five. Six. 
Good. Since I spent so much time explaining, we're going to do it again. Back to the left side. Cross arm. Control. Elbow. Knee. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. To the other side. Left arm. Oh, let me fix his, uh, fix my kid up. All right, ready. Cross arm. One. One, two. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, that was five each side. Push your pillow friend to the side. Grab your medium weight. Easy burpees, we're gonna do five with the weight, okay? Drop down to a push-up. Bring the jump the legs back in. Stand up. If you wish to jump, you can, but I've got a low ceiling, I'm not gonna do it. All right, five burpees, ready, one. Two, three, four, five. Good. All right. Putting the weights down. Take a second. You're going to get your buddy back. This time, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to do. A drill from guard, okay? So those who are, I'm gonna start this with my other dummy friend, just to make sure it's clear what's going on. So, I pull him, he is kneeling, and I've got him in my guard. My legs are wrapped tightly around him, he's sitting up, okay? What I wanna do is we can do this to practice an arm bar or a triangle choke, either one, um, we might, and that'll, some of it depends on how they react, okay? But the basic drill on this that I want to do is I want to, again, I want to grab this arm, same side, pull it across, control. Now, this is my left side, so my left foot's going to come down. I'm going to keep my right knee tight. I'm going to use this left foot down here to rotate my hips 90 degrees. Now this leg comes over. And if I had a good partner, I could sit up into my arm bar, okay? But we're not gonna go that far. So, same side, pull across. Grab, hook around the elbow, plant that same side foot, keep this right knee tight, rotate 90 degrees by pushing off of that leg, and then swing the leg over, and that's as far as we're going. So now, going back to my Hello, friend. So we're all on the same page, all have the same type of partner. We're in here, same side, pull across, hook the elbow, plant that foot, keep knees tight, rotate 90 degrees, swing it over the head, come back. Okay? Now, we're gonna do this just like before, five left, five right, five left, five right. Any questions? All right, let's go ahead and do it. Remember, we're trying to get a good app workout. Think about the technique. The technique is clean, great. If your technique feels like it's messy, don't even worry about it. We're just getting in a good workout here. No harm, no foul, okay? All right, good. So, you are ready. I'll rotate this way, actually. All right, so, got my partner. You're in my guard, okay? Same side, pull across, elbow, plant the foot, turn 90 degrees. Swing the leg over, push back, all right? Let go, same thing again. Cross, same side, pull across, plant the knee, rotate 90 degrees, pull it across, and rotate back. Close guard, same side, pull across, three, 
Close guard, four. Close guard, five. Good, all right, now we're gonna switch sides, all right? So close guard, same side, pull across, hook the elbow. Plant that foot, rotate 90 degrees, bring the leg over and come back. Close guard, same side, pull across, hook the elbow, right foot comes down, swing it over, come back, good. Keep your partner here, don't let him get away, close guard, same side, pull across, hook the elbow, plant the foot, rotate, three, close guard, four, Five. Good, back to the center. All right, now we're going back to the left. I'm not gonna count it out this time. I'm just gonna say one, you know, for each one. So I'm not gonna tell you the basics, all right? Ready, set, close guard. One. Two. Three, four, sorry, my pillow's getting away from me even with the belt. All right, one more on the left side, closed guard. Good, come back. Now we're going back to the right side. All right, one. Two, three, close guard, four, last one, close guard, five, Good, all right. Throw your buddy to the side, grab your light weights. We're doing five quick burpees. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, Good, all right, third groundwork drill. We're not gonna use our buddy for this one, but we are gonna, let me just push him to the side, make sure he's out of the way. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna do, you're down on the ground, you've got a standing opponent, someone above you, all right? You're trying to keep them away. You're gonna use easy pedal kicks. Remember, you wanna kick out. You don't wanna go too low, and you may not wanna consistently go too hot. Going high can be great as kind of random one-offs. Maybe 10% of your shots are going to go high to make sure they're not leaning in. But let's keep most of them about uh, groin to stomach level. Maybe a couple of knees, a lot of knees, but let's try not to go for shins. We don't want to drop these too low. Knee is good. Midsection is good. We're trying to keep them away. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one, two, three, four. I'm going to roll to my right. Hand is up. This is your standing up to base position. But first what we're gonna do is a kick out, again at knee level. And then from here, pull it back. And then we just come back down. That's one. One, two, three, four, roll to the right. Left hand up, kick with right leg up to a stand. And then back down. So we're gonna do five left, five right, five left, five right, okay? Remember, keep the kicks nice and easy. Don't kill yourself. We're trying to get in a good workout here. All right, ready? And one, two, three, four. Roll to the right side. Right hand down, left hand up. Kick. Come up to base. One. One, two, three, four. Roll to the right. Kick. 
two. One, two, three, four. Roll to the right. Kick. That's three. One, two, three, four. Roll to the right. Kick. Come up. Four. Again. One, two, three, four. Roll to the right. Kick. Come up. And back down. That's five. We're now going to switch sides. And again, we're going one, two, three, four. Roll to your left now. Hand is left, right hand is up between you and them. Weight's going to be on this right foot. Kick out with the left foot. Pull it back. Come up to a stand. Nice, strong fighting position. And then back down. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Roll to the left. Kick out. Pull back. Back down. Again, one, two, three, four. Roll to the left. Kick out. Back up. Back down. One, two, three, four. Three. Up, down. One, two, three, four. Four. Back down. Last one on this side. One, two, three, four. Roll to the left. Five. Good. Back to the other side. All right. We're going to do five on this side and then five back on the other side. And then we're going to do our, our, our cool down, our stretching. Nice and easy. You can do this. Ready. One, two, three, four. Shoot. That's one. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two, three, four. Kick three. That's up. Three. Down. That's three. One, two, three, four. Kick. That's four. One more. Five on that side. Good. Switch sides. Ready. On your back. One, two, three, four. Kick. One. One, two, three, four. Kick. Up to a stand. Two. Back down. Ready. One, two, three, four. Kick. Back up. One, two, three, four. Kick. I lost count, so we're going to do one more. Could be one more. One, two, three, four. Kick. Up to a stand. Good. And I lied. You're going to do five more burpees. Ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Oh, good. All right. Put your weights down. Take a second. Let your heart run for a bit. You know, get that little bit of sweat. Get some water. A little sip. Big sip if you like. And we're gonna go to stretching. Move this out of the way so it's not obstructing your view. I know nothing to get between you and me. Not even a water bottle. All right. Up to a stand. Make sure you've got enough space around you. And we're going to start off with simple neck rolls. Nice and easy. Eyes open. Remember to breathe. Switch direction. Good. We're going to switch direction again. This time I wanted a little bit more active. Last time you're probably just rolling around. This time I want some squeeze on those neck muscles as you go. So it's going to go a little slower. Feel those muscles pull your head as it moves in a circle. Good. And switch direction. Keep breathing. That was one, one more circle. Good. 
Good. Now shoulder rolls. Just the shoulders, no arms. Arch, bend, convex, concave. As much as you can, engaging muscles. That's four. One more. Five. Switch directions. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Good, easy chain breakers. Open up the chest, squeeze with the lats and back muscles to open up. Play with some angles on this. Couple more. Okay, get ready and catch that right arm, pull it across your chest. If you did the left, it doesn't matter. We'll get there. Just stay where you are. Good, and now the right arm comes down. Left arm, swing it across, catch. And relax, right arm's gonna go behind the head. Pull down on the elbow. Trying to keep the back straight. Try not to put pressure on the head. You want the fingertips reaching down. You want this hand here to pull gently, but you don't want to put pressure on the head. So you'll have to have a balance in there. And relax, switching arms. Left arm goes behind the head. If you're feeling up to it at this point, I kind of try to lean a little bit here. Notice that I'm keeping my shoulders over my feet, but this way I get a little bit of extra stretch here in the side if I'm feeling up to it today. Good, all right, big circles forward. Smaller, nice, fast, little circles here. We're, we're strengthening some muscles, triggering some nerves to twitch. So it's part of our workout, bigger circles, a little bit slower. Good. Next, we're gonna to go to easy back twists. On this, I like to start off thinking about grabbing and pulling through as so I'm doing a judo off balancing. I'm engaging back muscles into a twist, not just twisting and stretching, but engaging back muscles to start. Then let's switch to elbow. Now I'm driving an elbow forward and through. And this gets a little bit more of that twisty stretch as compared to the twist pull that's engaging muscles. And of course, while we're doing this, we're practicing keeping our hands up, rotating on our legs, using those hips. Good, and hip circles, keeping your head in one place. Just a couple each direction. Good, working our way down to our knees now. Nice and easy on the knees. Coming down. Switching directions at your leisure, keeping nice and shallow. Good, and next, ankles, nice and easy. First, we're gonna start off with circles. I'm working out toes and ankles. Now what we're gonna do is kind of go to a little bit more active part, I'm using muscles, painting big circles with my toe, okay? Big letter O's painted with my toe. Three or four left, three or four right, or clockwise, counterclockwise, switch feet. Of course, if you're uh, of the more um, British persuasion, maybe you'll say anti-clockwise instead of counterclockwise. You know, we're, we're, we're open here. We take everyone. All right, good. Ankles are good. Reaching up the side. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going purely to the side. Now I'm gonna do a couple forward, maybe a couple back, both sides. Get some good side stretches and a couple of different angles. 
Take your time with it. Don't rush it. Trying to get an easy, good stretch here. Oh, good. All right. Now, make sure you've got enough room. Start reaching your hands straight up. We're going to do a forward fold coming down. Try to get your hands on something. Can't reach the ground here. Put hands on your feet, maybe hands on your shins. That's okay. We want to try to get as straight back as possible. So what we're going to do here is you fold it down. You're like, okay, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. I'm trying to put my nose on my knees. What I want you to do here is straighten out the back. Hands slide up the shins. Back is straightening. And now fold again, trying to keep the back as straight as possible. Bend the knees, ragdoll up. Hands go up, try not to hit your ceiling like I just did. And forward fold one more time. Hands right up the shins. Straightening out the back, elongating the back and fold again, trying to rotate at the pelvis. Bend the knees, ragdoll up. Good. Now from here, cross right leg over left, hanging down, trying to feel the stretch now shift. So it's going, um, since my right is over my left on my left side, I'm getting a little bit more on the IT band and hamstring, and the right leg is kind of supporting a little bit of weight. Um, what you're trying to do though is relax the right side so the right hip can drop. And that helps you with the stretch on the left side. And now switch. Left leg goes over right. The right leg is the one getting stretched. You're trying to relax the left leg so that the left hip can drop, helping the stretch on the back of the right leg and the right hip. Good. Untangle, bend the knees, ragdoll up. All right, we're gonna switch again. We're gonna do our forward fold one more time. This time, let's make sure you've got enough room to shoot the feet backwards into a downward dog. So kind of walk to the front of your mat, if you would. Hands come up, forward fold. Hands go up the shins, straighten out the back, fold down. Try to put the leg, hands on the ground however you can. If you need to bend your knees, that's all right. Shoot the feet back to a high plank, push up position, hold this, drop down to a low plank, hold, rock forward, stretching lower back and abs. Try to relax the glutes, relax the back muscles, tuck the toes under, drop back into downward dog. On downward dog, we're trying to, to, the goal is to get the heels to the ground, but if they don't get there, don't worry. Engage the hands, engage the shoulders, drop the shoulders down towards your, your feet, lift up your tailbone, and use that all to put pressure on the calves, but let's not worry too much about getting them all the way to the ground. And from here, if you wish, kind of pedal it out so you're gonna relax one leg. When I pull up my right foot, all the weight goes to my left foot. And of course, because of the hand angles, you're gonna feel the, the muscles being stretched shift a little bit as you do this. So don't rush it, take your time. Feel that stretch engage. Back and forth, nice and slow. Good, both feet down, one more big stretch here. Let's just come forward to high plank, drop down to low plank, hips forward, lower back stretch. Remember to relax the glutes, roll the toes under, drop back to downward dog. Now we're gonna take this right foot, bring it, step it far forward as far as you can. Ideally, kind of right between your, your own hands. Now you're going to push up on that right leg. Side kick stretch. So this right leg is still bent. This one is still straight. I turned in the foot. So when I was facing forward, I was like this. And as I came up, I rolled and came down. So the whole foot's on the ground. Drop. Lean back. Drop this hip towards the ground at a slight angle towards the front foot. 
I'm trying to stretch the inner thigh here. Good, roll up onto the ball of that back foot. One or both hands up, stretching the front of the left hip, dropping lower to the ground, turning forward, keeping the hips facing forward. Drop that knee all the way down to the ground, still pushing. Good, now take your right arm, which is the same as the knee that is up. I'm gonna put it under and around this right leg, dropping my chest here to the ground. I should feel the stretch in the back of the right hip, back, uh, back of the right thigh, the, the leg that is forward. Good, all right, from here, hands come back underneath your chest, right foot comes back, I'm in a high plank, drop back to downward dog, hold it, and now the left foot's gonna come forward and through, the right foot rotates a bit, come up, I'm in my side kick stretch. Again, I'm trying to lean back, trying to drop this right hip down, Turn to your left, roll up on the ball of your back foot, hands go up, try to balance. If this is hard, then just do one. I find that this is the key part for me. This is more balance, but this still helps me get the stretch that I want in opening up my right side. Remember to breathe. Drop that knee down, take this left hand, goes underneath and around the left leg. Dropping the chest down to the ground. And from here, uh, since I don't want to just show you my butt, I'm going to rotate this way. All right, so I'm in the exact same position I was before. I've just turned all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is turn. So I'm doing a side split stretch. I'm just going to hang down the middle here. Walk on over to the right foot. And over to the left foot. Come back to the middle. Lower yourself gently down to the ground. Uh, come a little bit closer to you. Oh, yeah, there we go. And folding, reaching those hands out down the center. Good, come upright. Let's bring those feet in, butterfly stretch. So heels are together, bottoms of your feet are together. Um, I like to bounce it out a little bit, just to give me a little bit of kind of warm up on it. Grabbing the ankles, pushing down on the knees. If you're really flexible, you can kind of hit both the knees and the forward fold at the same time. For me, I can't quite do that anymore. So now switch to the forward fold. Good. All right, from here, we're gonna take the right leg. It's gonna swing over the left leg. Hug the knee into your chest, straighten out your back. Right hand goes down, left elbow goes outside the right knee, back twist. And untangle, right leg goes down, left leg swings all the way across, back straight, hug that knee into your chest. You can either do a figure four or kind of more like a seatbelt grip. Um, depending on the day, oftentimes I like this figure four position in here. And left hand goes down, right elbow goes outside the left knee. Back twist.
Good. Untangle. Just a couple more stretches I want to do to work on the stuff that we probably kept too tight. So all that groundwork stuff happens with this very closed off position, not open. So um, I'm going to lie on my left side, grab my right foot, pull this right leg back. I'm doing a quad stretch. Okay, but the key thing on this is I want to keep this toes, the ankle, the knee, and the hip all in the same line. I don't want to pull the foot over here, pull the foot back there. I want to keep it in the same line. If I can, and I'm feeling good about the quad, push off the foot a little bit into the hand, pull back, and maybe you can get a little bit of that right hip. Good, now we're going to switch sides. Left hand on left top of left foot, pulling back, opening up that hip. Good. All right, last one we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a kind of pigeon position. Um, I'm going to have the left shin is perpendicular to the direction I want to go. I'm going to roll up here and try to get that right leg so that the knee is pointing at the ground. And what I'm trying to get in here is a stretch on the left hip. Okay, so I'm in here trying to drop my chest forward, let that left leg go back, folding forward. And now one other hip stretch I like to do, I'm now going to take this left leg, tuck it under so it's a little bit more out of the way. Now I'm going to push that right hip to the ground or try to drag it through. So now I'm stretching that right hip and the right abdominals one more time. Good, now we're gonna to switch to the right side. So, right shin is perpendicular to the direction that I wanna face. I'm gonna roll up here. If it's not perfectly perpendicular, don't worry. If you can see in the camera, you can see mine not perfectly perpendicular either. It's a goal. Drop the weight into it, feeling the stretch in that right hip, the outside of the right hip, corner of the glutes. Now tuck that right foot under and out of the way. Let the left hip sink to the ground, stretching the left, sinking the left hip, stretching the left uh, hip and left low abdominals. All right, if you need to take a few minutes extra to stretch, then go ahead and do that. If there's a couple more exercises you wanna do, go ahead and do that. If you're done for the day, then you know go rinse off, get your shower, have a good protein uh, meal and rehydrate. If that means you're just gonna go out and get a nice heavy beer, then I think that kind of covers both bases. But you know, this is an early workout, maybe you still got stuff to do today. Anyhow. Thank you for joining me one more time. Again, this is the third of the uh, Philly Young Mudo Temple Hop Keto indoor self-quarantine workouts. Um, I'm glad you can jo enjoy, uh, join us. I hope you enjoyed it. And really, let's just keep working and we're all gonna get through this together, all right? Thank you, see you soon. If you have any questions or comments about this workout, just shoot me a, a message. And uh, if you wanna be added to our list for uh, live workouts, then also just let me know. Otherwise, thanks to everyone who joined me. Thanks to everyone who's going to watch this later. And uh, be healthy, stay healthy, stay together. We got this. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.